Tonight is the night of total redemption. Redemption for you. I said redemption for you. What are you there? Something great is coming your way. You will never be the same again. Somebody, if you are there, shout Amen. Tonight, the Lord has brought us together. Not just to have a gathering, but to touch a life and to turn your life around. And a miracle is ready for you. Am I talking to somebody there today? You will not miss it. It will not miss you. Redemption. Somebody shout total redemption. It will happen in your life. Give me a good idea. Stay tame now. Raise up those signs so we can pray together. Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your impartiality. You are here to bless everyone. And I'm asking tonight, Lord, no one will miss your blessing tonight. Something great. Something marvelous. Something miraculous. Something supernatural in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Glorify the Lord Jesus tonight. And take all people out of their problems in Jesus' name. Break every yoke. Break every chain. Deliver the oppressed tonight. And set every captive free. Let them joy everywhere tonight in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody shout. God bless you, you can sit down. Tonight we come together. Number one, to talk about redemption. Number two, to have redemption. Number three, to take redemption back home. Redemption in every area of your life. Redemption in every phase of your family. Redemption in our community is coming your way tonight. Tonight, you will not miss it. When we talk about redemption, it's all over the Bible. I'm going to read a passage of scripture to you. It's in Exodus chapter 6. And I'm reading here from verse 6. Exodus chapter 6. Reading from verse 6. The background of the story is that the children of Israel representing us standing for us as an example of people that needed redemption and they needed redemption in every area of their lives personal family tribe community the whole nation they needed redemption internal external and spiritual and physical they needed redemption in their profession in the work of their hands in the situation in which they found themselves they needed redemption all round redemption complete redemption lasting redemption lifelong redemption in short they needed total redemption. And tonight, that's what you need. You will get it. I will get mine. Somebody there, I will get mine. Exodus chapter 6, I'm reading from verse 6. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burden of the Egyptians. And I will read you out of their bondage. And I will redeem you with a stretch out arm. 
And with great judgment, I will take you to myself for a people. I will be to you a God. And you shall be, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. Which bringeth you out from under the bodies of the Egyptians. It brings you out from under the body. You see, when we're talking about redemption, it's like somebody has been under a body, under a yoke, under a captivity, distress, despair, difficulty, chains binding them. And then the day, like today, when God comes to break your yoke, today, like today, when the Lord comes to take your sickness away, today, when He comes to break everything that limits you in your life, that's what is called redemption. The children of Israel had redemption, and it's based on the fact that God God is mighty and powerful. And the Lord says, I am the Lord your God. It is that attribute of God, that characteristic of God, it is that nature of God, the nature of love, that doesn't want to see any of his creatures suffer, that makes it to bring redemption to you and to me. And tonight, God has not changed. It's still the same as ever, as loving as ever, as merciful as ever, as powerful as ever, as mighty as ever, and whatever binds you tonight, deliverance is coming your way. I said deliverance is coming your way. Redemption. Redemption. Somebody help me shout redemption. The Lord sent Moses to the children of Israel. That he has sent me to you tonight. And everything Moses said from the Lord unto the people. The Lord confirmed for the people. And everything I said to you tonight. From the word of the Lord. From the revelation coming from heaven. Is going to be fulfilled in your life. Every promise I show you tonight is going to be part of your life. When I'm talking about the power of God tonight, it's going to be part of your life. When I talk of salvation, I'm talking about salvation for you. I said I'm talking about salvation for you. When I talk about deliverance, I'm talking about that deliverance for you. It is not for the other man. It's not for the other woman. Every blessing we talk about tonight is for you will get it. I said you will get it. Let me tell you something, show you something that Moses said to the people. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, and I say unto our people tonight, and Moses said unto to the people, fear ye not. Fear ye not. Are you sick? Fear ye not. Are you bound? Fear ye not. Are you tormented? Fear ye not. Deliverance has come. Salvation has come. Every impossibility in your life will become possible tonight. Yokes are broken tonight. Oppression is taken away tonight. Freedom. Freedom. Freedom has come. Fear ye not. Stand still. That means don't go away. That means stay there. That means stay until it is done. Not long from now, a miracle will strike you there. 
Then you not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And sense the salvation of the Lord. And feel the salvation of the Lord. And partake of the salvation of the Lord. Stand still. Stay where you are. And receive the salvation of the Lord. Which he will show you today. When is your salvation? He will show you today. I said, When is your salvation? Today. When is your redemption? Today. When is your deliverance? Today. When are you going to come out of the yoke? Tell me, tell me. Today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. That attack you see today, after this message, and then the powerful prayer comes upon your life, no more. Attack from today, no more. Oppression from today, no more. Incurable disease from today, no more. Blindness in your eyes from today, no more. Paralysis and weakness from today, no more. I cannot, I cannot. Everything looks impossible. In my life from tonight no more tonight i'm talking to you on the day of total redemption the day of total redemption you know a day comes in a man's life a day that is special a day like no other day a day never to be forgotten a day when heaven opens upon your life and it says today you are going to have your redemption the day of total redemption and rejoice with you you are going to have a testimony I'm looking at three things that I look at this number one the need you know you have a need that's why you came if you didn't sense the need in your life that something ought to happen. I must get something. Life is not all right the way life is. Life is not complete the way life is. I need, I need, I need something. There is a necessity in my life. It is that need that drove you here tonight and that need will be met in Jesus' name. Number one, the news. the news. I bring news to you today. Good news to you today. There is news from heaven. There is news from a loving father. There is news from a creator. There is news from the all powerful one. There is news from the almighty. And I bring good news to you tonight. News that will bring joy in your life. Happiness in your life. Release in your life. Deliverance in your life. Testimony in your mouth. Good news for you. Somebody there, good news for me. And then number three. No gear the night. Asoni. Look at it tonight. Oni asona. I said tonight. Iwe asona. I said tonight it's going to be a special night a night of the supernatural a night of redemption a night of manifestation a night of miracle where am I? where am I? I said where am I? somebody there where are you? it is your night number one the felt need of redemption 
in need you feel the children of Israel felt it they felt it so bitingly they felt it so painfully and they cried that because of the felt need number one the felt need of redemption number two the fourfold news of redemption the fourfold news of redemption is the news of the fourfold redemption redemption from number one side redemption from number two side redemption from number three side redemption from number four side the fourfold news of redemption and number three the final night of redemption you've come to that final night you're searching here and there now the final night of redemption has come for you final when God walks on your life tonight final when God takes your body in your way tonight final is a breaker of yokes is a redeemer of the people that are oppressed. Is the one that comes to release you from every oppression. And tonight is the final night of redemption. Number one, number one, the felt need of redemption. Message that God sent Moses to the children of Israel. They were feeling something. They were crying out for something. They were suffering somehow. They felt it. If you don't feel hungry, you don't look for food. If you don't feel thirsty, you don't look for water to drink. If you don't feel oppressed, you don't look for freedom. If you don't feel you're cheated, you don't feel you don't find redress. If you don't feel the captivity, you don't, you don't try to find a way out of that captivity. It is when you feel the pain. It is when you feel the pressure. It is when you feel the oppression. It is when you feel the poverty. It is when you feel the deprivation. That you begin to seek and say, where is my God? And tonight, what has brought you here is that you feel that oppression. You feel that pain. The children of Israel, Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1. Reading from the star team. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. They felt the rigor. They felt the power of the enemy. They felt the poverty. They felt the sickness. They felt the suffering. And it was a felt need that made them to cry out to the Lord. And if you really feel your need tonight, and you know that your life is not complete until there's redemption tonight, you're going to cry mightily to the Lord and the Lord will see that cry of felt need tonight he will deliver you any need in your personal life any need in your personal life any need in your family any need in your profession any need in your community any need in your area at all it is that need you feel that drives you to the savior to the lord tonight in verse 14 of chapter 1 exodus and they made the lives bitter with hard bondage they made their lives bitter with hard bondage bondage the people feel tonight people are tied up people are bound 
People are restricted. People are restrained. People are hindered. They have legs they cannot walk. They have legs they cannot run. They have hands they cannot choose their hand. They have the mind they cannot choose their mind. They know what to do. They have no resources to get those things done. They have mouths they cannot talk. They have plantation they cannot read. There's a need in every life. And and then it says they make their lives bitter. Instead of joy, instead of happiness, instead of excitement, instead of wanting to live. Many people used to want to live for a long, long time. But how many people today they say, What am I living for? Because of the hard bondage in life. And they say, In mortar, in brick, in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve with rigor. That need will be met tonight. Something must happen tonight. Life cannot continue like this. Operation cannot continue like this. Limitation in life cannot continue like this. We cannot continue suffering like this. Something must happen. Something must happen. Tonight in your life, something must happen. Yokes must be broken tonight. Oppression must be taken away tonight. Those tears must be wiped away tonight. And all the bondage must be broken tonight. What man cannot do, God must do tonight. In your life, He will do. Do it. In chapter 3. Verse 7. Here is the Lord talking now. And the Lord said. I've surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. He said, I have seen it. He has seen your problem. He's seen your tears. He's seen the bondage. He's seen all those evil things. He's seen all the attack. He has seen all the affliction. He has seen all the suffering. He has seen all the hunger. He has seen all the, all the regrets in life. He says, I've seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. He said, I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. I have heard their cry by the reason of their taskmasters. Those Egyptians place heavy ta tasks on the Israelites. And they appointed taskmaster for everyone. And nobody could say, I'm alright. Nobody could say, I'm an exception. Nobody could say, I am free. Nobody could say, it doesn't affect me. All the people cry, I'm alright. It affected everybody. There is an area of your life. When you see that attack, an area of your life, when you see that oppression, an area of your life, when you see that affliction, and you know that whatever you have done, and whatever you try to do, to free yourself, to break your own chain and to get out of that captivity by yourself you do not have the strength to do but I say God in heaven who has seen you where you are tonight that is a God in heaven who has seen your tears tonight and he has made this day possible for your redemption and the Lord is here to deliver you I said the Lord is here to set you free he said now in verse 8 let me finish verse 7 he says for I know their sorrows that's the first need that's the need we all feel in our lives the sorrow 
The heart ache, the pain in the mind, the broken life, the broken family, the broken dream, and things you wanted to do you couldn't do. And it appears there's no way out. You're in. Where do I go? How do I make a difference? How can there be a change in my life that you cannot find? And you feel the need. That's why you are here tonight. Tonight. And tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. It tells us in verse 8. It says, I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. I am come down to deliver them. Somebody there tonight, deliverance has come for you. Redemption has come for you. Freedom has come for you. Salvation has come for you. You see, what, 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 why do we have these problems? What led us to the bondage? What led us to the affliction? Let, let me show you something before I move on. This is very important before we move on. I'm looking at this in Jeremiah chapter 5 and I'm reading to you from verse 25 there must be a reason for the suffering there must be a reason for the captivity there must be a reason for the cry there must be a reason for the felt need in your life Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 25 your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withdrawn good things from you. We, we cannot claim innocence. We we can also, you know, I'm like an angel. And the world is treating me like a devil. I'm a righteous man. And the world is treating me like a criminal. I am the best person in my land. And the land is treating me like the worst person in town. No, not at all. We need to be sincere. The Bible says very clearly all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If we suffer, sin brings suffering. Crime brings calamity. And all the sins were committed. There is a law of sowing and reaping. Watch a man sows, he will reap. If he sows poison, he will reap poison. If he sows sin, he will reap suffering. That's why we feel the need in our lives. But the merciful God will forgive you. I'm talking to somebody there tonight. I said, The merciful God will forgive you. Number one, the no. felt need of redemption. Our sins brought okay. us into the dungeon, into captivity, into affliction, into bondage. But thank God tonight you are coming out. I said, Thank God tonight you are coming out. I'm talking to somebody there. I said, Tonight you are coming out. Point number two now The fourfold news of redemption Good news Somebody help me shout good news the fourfold news of redemption. You know, when we talk about fourfold, it's like we're looking at the four cardinal points north, south, west, east. Have you noticed those words? N for the north. 
E for the east. W for the west. S for the south. That's news. That's news. And it is fourfold. It is coming from different directions. Tonight, fourfold good news in your life in Jesus' name. They're coming from the north, good news for you. They are coming from the east, good news for you. They are coming from the west, good news for you. They are coming from the south, good news for you. Fourfold news of redemption. Number one is redemption from sin. You will forgive your sin today. Amen doesn't mean end of the meeting. Amen means so let it be in my life. Amen in your life. Amen for the promises in your life. And amen of deliverance in your life. Number one, number one is the redemption from sin. Look at Psalm 130, Psalm 130, verses 7 and 8. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy. God will not be angry with you. I said, God will not be angry with you. He will show mercy on you tonight. And we see him is plenteous redemption. Verse 8, he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Tonight, redemption from sin. Tonight, redemption from iniquity. Tonight, redemption from evil doing. Tonight, redemption from bad character. Tonight, redemption from hard drugs. Tonight, redemption from the bad habits. Tonight, redemption from idolatry. They will forgive you and they will wipe away all the suffering of that iniquity and sin away from your life in Jesus' name. Number one, redemption from sin. Number two, redemption from sickness. Sickness tonight gone. I said sickness tonight healed. Healing for me tonight. What is she there? What is she there? Healing for me tonight. Total freedom from every form of sickness. Psalm 103, verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all thy iniquities. Who heals all thy diseases. Who heals all thy diseases. How many sicknesses will he heal tonight? I said, How many sicknesses will he heal tonight? From the top of here to the tip of your toe, your eyes will receive healing. Your stomach will receive healing. Your kidney will receive healing. Your lungs will receive healing. Asthma will vanish away. Skin disease will vanish away. Look at that HIV will be healed in Jesus' name. Number one is redemption from sin. Number two, redemption from sickness. Number three, redemption from evil spirits. Every tormenting spirit will be taken away tonight from your life. Uh, they won't allow me to sleep in the night. I will drive them away tonight. They will not allow me to succeed. From tonight, you will succeed. 
And every time they tell me, every time they threaten me, they say, you'll never make it. You will make it. Number one, redemption from sin. Number two, redemption from sickness. Number three, redemption from evil spirits. You are redeemed tonight. I said you are redeemed tonight. Look at Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 21. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. You didn't hear that one. And I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee from the hand of the terrible. Evil spirits are terrible. Evil spirits are wicked. They don't have mercy for anyone. And they don't respect anyone. Evil spirit does not know that you are a university man. Evil spirit does not know that you are a great man. Evil spirit does not say, I respect her because because she's married. I respect her because you know she's a gentle woman. Evil spirits don't have any compassion, sympathy for anyone. They come to torment whoever they can torment. There's somebody greater than them. There is a name greater than all of them. Give me that name. The name of Jesus is greater. And tonight, 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 your freedom from every evil spirit, oppression, attack, affliction has come in Jesus' name. Number one, freedom, redemption from sin. Number two, redemption from sickness. Number three, redemption from evil spirits. Number four, redemption from Satan himself. That's the master of those evil spirits. And they have a bad name for him in every language. He's wicked. He's evil. He's an adversary. He's an enemy. He's the most powerful enemy that will ever confront any man. But tonight, total redemption. Satan will not bother your life again. Look at this, look at this. Jeremiah chapter 31. I'm reading from verse 11. Jeremiah 31 verse 11. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. What's your name? Put your name there. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. Did you put your name? I said, did you put your name? The Lord has redeemed you tonight. Look at this, look at this. And ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Ransomed him. Redeemed him. Delivered him. He set him free from the hand of him that is stronger than, than he. They are strong. The mighty. The cruel. The terrible. But tonight, redemption. Somebody there said tonight, redemption. Redemption. Fourfold. From sin. From sickness. From spirits. From Satan. You got it. Now it's going to be a reality. There is preaching. There's performance. What you have been hearing is preaching. Now 
performance. Somebody shout performance. You will do something in your life tonight. Point number three now. The final night of redemption. The final night of redemption. I rejoice with you. There are great possibilities tonight. Great possibilities tonight. Of your salvation. Great possibilities tonight. Of your healing. Healing. Great possibilities tonight of your deliverance. Great possibilities tonight of your total freedom. Total freedom. Somebody there said total freedom. It will happen. To you it must happen. Tonight for you it must happen. This is the night. I said this is your night. We are coming back to Exodus now. Coming back to Exodus now. And I'm reading here from chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12 verse 12. Why will pass through the land of Egypt this night? This night. Salvation. This night. Healing. This night. Deliverance. This night. Miracle. This night. Total redemption. Total deliverance. When? I said when? Now this night. If I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. I will smite all the firstborn of the land in the land of Egypt. But man and beast. And against all the gods of the idols that uh, the Egyptians worship, will I execute judgment? I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a sign, for an emblem, for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. That's why Jesus died for us. That's why the blood of Jesus was shed. He became your substitute. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the soul that sinneth, it shall die. We should have borne the punishment of our sin. But Jesus the perfect one Jesus the holy one Jesus the righteous one Jesus the spotless one Jesus the sinless one He came to stand for you He came to bear your punishment And he said look I don't want him to suffer I don't want him to bear punishment I don't want him to be oppressed Therefore I will take his place. Jesus has taken your place. And his blood was shed for you. He says we are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. And he says the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Tonight, if you repent, tonight, if you turn away from darkness and turn to the light, tonight, if you turn away from idols and turn to the only truth, God. Tonight, if you take your trust away from worthless uh, habit and worthless uh, activity and you come to trust in the Lord your God, redemption has come for you tonight. I'm looking at somebody there who is going to have redemption. It will not pass you by. You must have it tonight. It says, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt. And then 
total redemption will be a manifestation in your life. Are you ready? I'm asking, are you ready? For him to do it in your life? I said for him to do it in your life. It will happen to you. Now. Anybody ready there? I'm ready for salvation. I'm ready for forgiveness. I'm ready for miracle. I'm ready for redemption. And I want him to be my savior tonight. Don't stand up yet. Sit down. It's bowed and eyes closed. You are the special person the Lord is looking for. For tonight. And you are the one that heaven wants to recognize tonight. And if you will cooperate with the Almighty God, that fourfold redemption can be yours tonight. And it's going to start with forgiving all the sins you ever committed. And it will give you freedom, freedom, freedom to live in a new life. And if you are there, you just raise up your hand and say yes Lord I've been waiting for this time tonight I have my freedom tonight I have my salvation tonight I have forgiveness what are you, where are you raise up that hand if you're raising up the hand you'll stand up and then I'm going to pray with you so as you're standing up just over there open your mouth and confess to the Lord just say, I know I'm a sinner I know I should bear the punishment of my sin tell the Lord I know I should suffer for my sin but I come tonight I come for your mercy tell the Lord I come for your mercy tell the Lord I come for forgiveness Tell the Lord I come for peace of mind. Tell the Lord I cannot change myself. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, but you will change me tonight. Redemption. 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 Redemption, Redemption from my sin. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. I say, Lord, forgive me. I believe. Tell the Lord, I believe that you died for me on the cross of Calvary. Tell him, tell him, you took my place. Tell him, you took my place. And now you give me your own mercy and grace and forgiveness. Receive his forgiveness. Let's pray for you already. And he paid the penalty for you. And receive that forgiveness now. Receive that redemption now. Receive that grace of God now. It's for everyone. There's no discrimination. There's no partiality. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am saved. Thank you, Lord. My sins are forgiven. Thank you, Lord. You have set me free. Thank you, Lord. You give me a new life right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout Amen. Raise up that hand now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people tonight. I ask you to forgive them. They come on the basis of your love, on the basis of your mercy, on the basis that Jesus died for every one of them. And you said, when you see the blood, I will pass over you. I pray that judgment will pass away from them. Give them your forgiveness. Give them your salvation. Let the joy of salvation be in their hearts right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. You are saved. Say, I am saved. You are forgiven. Say, I am forgiven. I've got redemption. Say, you've got redemption. 
You've got redemption. And that redemption is right there now. And counselors are there. And those counselors will, you know, they yeah, take your name, they put it on your name because something good has happened to you. Because redemption has come to you. The joy of the Lord is now in your heart. Counselors, do that now. We're calling on our state pastor to help us in this session. And after that, you'll be coming back so that your sickness infirmities, everything is taken away tonight in Jesus' name. And I have another Amen. An Amen. He said, Cancel us please quickly. There is a book written by a pastor. It's a leaflet they are going to give you. It's your pastor copy. Please raise up your hand. They will give it to you. And then they will fill in your details. And then they will detach that part and give you the book. Please quickly now. Cancel Lord do that. As we have shared ourselves in the various compartments. Please raise up your hand if that book has not gotten to you. Please, there's no movement now. The pastor is here to come to pray for a miracle. Please write the name quickly. If the paper, if the book has not gotten to you, put up your hand, they will give you. We have a lot of them. A pastor is about coming. The redemptive power is coming to be released. I will throw up every problem, every disease. It will go tonight. Every deformity is living our life. Everybody shout total redemption. Shout as if you believe it. Let's stand up to receive the servant of God. The power of redemption, total redemption. Praise the Lord. What was that? You are waiting for your healing. I said, Praise the Lord. Miracle tonight. Deliverance tonight. Healing tonight. Those blind eyes will open tonight. Those lame legs will carry you up tonight. Deaf ears will open. Dark tongues will speak out. That sickness will pass away from your body. Are you there? If you are there, let me hear your amen. Identify the sickness in your body. And lay one hand there. And raise up the other hand. And then we're going to pray. When you hear the final amen, check up. Miracle would have been deposited there. It will not fail you tonight. You will not miss it tonight. Lay the hand where you have the problem. And raise up the other hand. And then we're going to pray. Final amen. That's the final. You're healed tonight. You're delivered tonight. Raise up that hand. Are you ready for the miracle? I can't hear you. It's coming. Let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless and glorify your name. How great and mighty you are. You cannot fail. You will not fail. I pray for everyone on the field. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice now. I send that miracle upon you in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray from the top of the air to the tip of the air too. 
Every part, part of their body. Lord, I pray. Touch them right now. Heal them right now. Sickness, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. The spirit of insanity, I command you. Madness, come out in Jesus' name. Evil spirit, come out in Jesus' name. All the attacks of the affliction, tormenting their lives, harassing their lives. You spirit of torment, affliction, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body. Go into, I command you, be removed in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Any fantasies be removed in Jesus' name. That are here as well in the private part, be healed in Jesus' name. This of an eternal sickness. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. That tissue of blood dry up in Jesus' name. Cancer, you are healed in Jesus' name. And those who cannot breathe well, asthma, be healed in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, you are healed. You are healed. And all that HIV, AIDS, be removed in Jesus' name. I pray for every family. Those who are barren, give them miracle children. I pray for for those of incredible disease and they've gone to the hospital and they have the result, Lord, I pray, touch them, heal them now in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, receive your hearing. Speak out in Jesus' name. Those who are blind, the Lord touch your blind eyes right now. Glaucoma, be healed in Jesus' name. Catalan be healed in Jesus' name. Tears of sight be healed in Jesus' name. You are not blind anymore. Open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. That short leg grow out in Jesus' name. Eyes rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Stroke be healed in Jesus' name. Conscious on your wheelchair, the strength of the Lord get into your body right now. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. In Jesus' name, be healed. Lord, everywhere now. To the right, to the left. At the back, at the center, at the front. Miracle everywhere. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Confirm your power in every life. Redemption for everyone. Now. Total redemption for everyone now. Confirming Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. It has happened. It has happened. Check up yourself. You will find the miracle. There. The miracle is there. And as you see the miracle, you come out, you have a testimony. Amen. He said. Now begin to look at yourself now. We are our no movement now. If you see God have healed you, shall praise the Lord. In the middle. In the left, in the right, at the far back, shall praise the Lord. And then workers begin to bring them out. You will bring them to the, my front, left hand side. The people they are going to interview you, you will share some of those testimonies. There's no movement now. The buses are there waiting for us. It's time for miracle. Please check them. Yeah, there's a jubilation there. Look at it there. Look at it there. There's dancing there. There's rejoicing there. Praise the Lord. It's happening.
It's happening. Check over there. Far back by right hand side. Please bring them out quickly. If you cannot see, open your eyes, you can see. The servant of the great redeemer has released the redeeming power. And this unfailing. Once he prays, God of heaven answers. Receive your own. Please let's bring them out to my right hand side. Please, there should be no movement now. Let's remain seated. If, if you have your seat, but those who are the miracle, let's bring them out. Another one there. Another one there. Another jubilation there. That's great. That is great. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Is happening. Great is the power of the Lord. Please let's bring them out to my right hand side great is the lord by my right hand side 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 great is the lord his power is moving please bring them out let's bring some chairs for them to sit down as we're interviewing them we are going to listen to striking ones yes over there at the far back right hand side mango side any shouting there the power of god is there far back over there even those who are who are far away the power has been transmitted like the waves please check up over there and bring them out um, are they ready all right we want to listen to the first testimony please just go straight my name this is what i have this is what has happened no story quickly yes give her the mic my name is Madam Janet Tohomba. Since 2015, December, and November 18, since then I'm just one place. I can't move, I can't do anything. Even if I lie down, I cannot change. So since then, I pray to God. I take different medicine. Go ahead. I take everything. What happened tonight? No solution. One day I just call my wife. I say, go and throw all this thing away. What happened tonight? God, it's you that made me. If you yes. know you cannot hear me, leave me and let me go. What happened tonight, Mama? Since then, by then I cannot sit down. I cannot Please let's quicken her. What like happened now? tonight? We want to know. So now, yeah. ah, God has delivered me today. What has happened to you? Can God you walk now? God delivered me. I can walk now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can see the wheelchair by the side. Is okay. that a much you can clap for Jesus? Somebody that cannot move, cannot stand. She's now walking. Clap for Jesus. Great is the retention power. Yes, next, 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 next person. Quickly. Let's clear the way. There's another rejoicing there. Another rejoicing there. Bring them out. The next, the next, the next. Another shouting there. Bring them out. Yes, the next. Quickly, Mike. Quick, quick. Give out, give him the mic. Your name. Give him the mic there, please. My name is, my name is Rufus. I've been sick for two years. Diabetes, sickness. I can't able to walk. I can't able to stand very well. But I thank God for today. God that healed me. I glorify the God. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. Thank it's you, gone. Thank you, Jesus, for all you done for my family, all you done for my that life. That is gone. It can walk now. Jesus. God bless you, brother. You I can stand up. Amen. Amen. It's gone. It's gone forever. That's a sharp one. Another one. Your name, where you came from, what God has done for you. Quickly. Girl, quick. Praise the Lord. My name is David Victory. I'm from Esa Koi's local government area. So when I was in primary school, I was very small then. My teacher was not in class one day. I went to the back. I was reading my book. Suddenly, an object was moving in my body. Ever since then, I'm in SS3 now. I want to write my exam next year. 
and the object was still moving in my body. Even when I was coming to the crusade today, I was sitting inside the car and the thing was still moving on my body. I was praying, God, I'm, I don't want to go back the same way I came. You must touch my, you must touch me tonight. What happened so, now? So when I came, when the man of God was praying, I just laid my hand on when the, thing, the object was moving. So after the prayer, I could not feel anything again. He's gone. That I can walk. Is gone. Praise He's gone. He's the Lord. Gone. That, that, that evil spirit has gone. That dead oh, thing has gone. Praise the Lord. Lord. Is that the more you can praise Jesus? I said, Praise the Lord. Lord. That's great. The next one, next one, quickly. Mama, your praise name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Ubi Linda. That is Yoko. Since Where did you come from? Oh, I came from Benin City here. Good. So since last year, that is early last year. I uh, develop a cancer problem on my right breast. Although in this UBTH, I've already put one. But that's the same place. I can't raise up this my right arm. Even as I came here this evening, the hand was so heavy. I was feeling the pain. Even Good. when the best of us start shout hallelujah, I can't shout it like that. But immediately we finish this prayer now. See Good. me, I cannot raise That's my great. Hand. Cancer. Hey! Look at it. That's great. Cancer is dead. Go and rejoice. That's great. Another one, another one. Another one, another one. Quickly, quickly. So let the striking one, the Lord is great. Please expect your own. Expect your own. Good, give the phone, mama. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. My name is Basadege. I come from Moto. So why would they come? My waist, he always hooked me with rheumatism. If I want waka, I know the feet waka. He go to pinch me. He go hold my leg. But when GSA make everybody put hand for where is the warrior and make me raise one hand up. So as I put hand, when GS they pray, the waist don't release me. He don't lose. Yes. I say you don't lose. Yes, now you don't see him now, he didn't jump. <laughs> that is great. Great. Come on. Hey, may God not let him come heal. back again. Praise the Lord. Mama, that is great. Go ahead and enjoy your healing. The next one, that's a bright one. Another one. Your name, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Alegu Abraham. By the grace of God, I'm from Obada. My testimony here is about the swelling I have on my private part. And this swelling is called sweetie. I don't know how it comes. Sometimes I will just put my hand inside my pocket and start scratching it. And when the man of God was praying, he mentioned swelling on the private part. And he said that we should lay our hand on it. And immediately I laid my hand on it. After the last amen, I received my healing. He's gone. Praise He's gone. the Lord. That's a bright one. That thing is God. In your healed brother. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Please be checking out the redemption. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your name. My name is Chinyake Kenedo. I am from Custom District. Ewa Group. I thank God for what God has done for me this night, this evening. I have neck pain since 2014. And after the prayer of the man of God this night, I have instant healing. Praise it's the God. Lord! God. Twist your neck. Let's see you. Twist it. That, I you, can, you can see. You can see. Boy, you are healed. That's great. That's a brilliant one. Clap for Jesus. Somebody Is that the more you can clap for Jesus? Shout amen. Another one. Your name, boy. Somebody Isn't shout you? total redemption. Go ahead. My Your name, name is Ed Paul. I'm 19 years of age. I have a severe serial waist pain that I can't even bear down for three minutes. If I bend down, I can't stand up very well. But after the prayer, I can bend down now and stand. I am totally free. Ben, Hallelujah. Let's see. Ben, let's see you now. Ben, stand up again. It, you are healed, boy. You can go. That is great. Go and enjoy your healing. That's a brilliant one. The waist pain is gone. Another one. Another one. Boy, your name? My name is uh, James Cameron. I'm from uh, uh, Ego, local government. Uh, I'm here to testify what the Lord has done in my life. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. I've, I've came with a constant headache. 
the edict has been started since three months. I'm not able to talk. Uh, if, if I want to sleep, I will sleep in one side. I don't used to bend the other side. What happened now? But now, as after the man of God has prayed, the Holy Spirit welcomed me, and now I got. You are free. You are free. Praise the Lord. You can see him turning it. Another brilliant one. Another one. Quickly, your name. You are wearing total redemption. My name is. Sister. I hate. It's a blessing. And so I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. The, on Tuesday this week. I went for an appointment in the hospital. So they asked me for a scan. I should, the doctor asked me to go and do a scan. So as I went for the scan, they said that the, there is complication in the pregnancy, that the baby is sitting down. That when the pregnancy reached 39 weeks and the baby is sitting down, they have to do operation. I said, I said, I will not do operation in Jesus' name. Immediately after I left the hospital, I went and met one of my Christian sisters. So she prayed with me. I was keep believing God with prayers. Go after, ahead. What happened tonight? What was Runi Asana? After everything, when the man of God was praying, he said we should lay a hand on where we are having a challenge. So I laid my hand, my told me. I was saying that this I'm I'm not leaving this place with the same complication. So after the final, I feel the baby was positioned to the rightful position. Go and, and check and let us know. Go for the street. The Lord. Let's clap for the Lord. That baby has turned. But check up and let us know in your district, please. Go and take a scan or go and take an X-ray. Yes, go. On. It is confirmed, and I believe that. Striking one, identifiable one, verifiable one, quickly. Yes, man, your name. Praise the Lord. I'm Osamuya Yoga. I came from Edo State. Edo State, where? From the past six years. Where did you come from in Edo State? Oh, the local government area. Guys, good. I have a stomach pain, severe one. When I even pray here, it's someone that will even help me. But right now, I'm healed. I don't even know if something like that is happening. You Praise the Lord. Oh, why, why you let's clap for Jesus. You are going home healed. Oh, where your wife? Where next one, next you? one, quickly, please. Striking one, pastors, pastors, striking one because. Oh, yeah, go ahead, girl. Praise God. My name is Chidima Basi. I'm here to testify for the glory of God for healing me from every epilepsy sickness. I had an epilepsy last time, uh, uh, last week, and I dislocated my, my shoulder and I broke my uh, teeth. Since then, I cannot raise my hand up. Thank God now I can raise my hand Look up. Look at it now. I that know evil I spirit is gone. I say it's gone. It's gone forever in Jesus' Evil name. spirit is gone. Amen. Bye bye, evil spirit. Lady, you are healed. Mama, be quick. Your name. Shout praise the Lord. That's great. Praise the Lord. My name is Faith Adoye. Today, God do a marvelous thing in my life. Go ahead. Since 2006, now I have pain for this place. I drink concussion because my after my marriage, my senior sister gave me slap. After I give me the slap, he has troubled me so much. As I'm after that one, I go and uh, all this about this place. Say, so better go uh, do my better put a message where go stop the pain. After the message, he give me the message to drink now. This place, now the place just hook me. Since that day, not be small uh, money at all ways. I will do scanning. I, I can stay, I can move for what we are stay. Go ahead, what happened this, now? As I call today, now I say, uh, the daddy, the Lord, will come today. As I now cause, okay, my first go attempt. To what happened here now? Now, as a min, as man of God, a minister, now the healing of God take place for this place. So, praise the Lord. See so the trust, whether they would they want to So, the thing don't go now. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are free. Go ahead. You can go. Any another one? Let's. I say, praise the Lord. That thing that who killed God have taken it away. The next one, lady. Your name. My name is. This is for the I say, Lelosa. For the past uh, 2016, I went for scan and I was told I have cyst, which normally was supposed to go after some men, men, menstrual circle for like a few months. But since 2016, now it has been there. I've been praying and believing on God, and I came to this uh, redemption crusade today. And today I am free, and it's no longer there. I touched it, I can't see any trace it's of it. It's gone, anymore. it's gone. You are Praise here. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. 